Hey there, and thanks for watching. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to share features of our newly released Excel for CRE Excel add-in. So for years, real estate financial modeling professionals and quite frankly, finance professionals across the world have been using a free Excel add-in that offered all sorts of additional functionality to Excel that was specific for my finance professionals. And recently that add-in uh, was put behind a paywall and that's in essence became a paid product, uh, quite expensive. Uh, and so at ACRE, as we think about the needs of ACRE readers uh, and our own needs, we saw an opportunity to contribute in a different way to the real estate financial modeling community. And that was in building an add-in that would be free, uh, that would expand the functionality of Excel for real estate financial modeling professionals. And so that add-in we call Excel for CRE. And this video outlines the features that are available in the beta version 0.5 release of that add-in. So the first thing you're gonna find is that the code for this plugin is public domain, meaning it's available for you to see, to edit, to use for whatever purposes that you see best. Uh, and so to do that, you simply, again, go to the developer ribbon. If the developer ribbon is not available to you, just right click here along the ribbon, choose customize ribbon, come down and select the developer box. And this developer ribbon appears, you then have Visual Basic, click that, and it's gonna open the Microsoft Visual Basic, Basic for Applications Excel dialog window. And in here, now, you're gonna look off to the left under projects and you'll find this ACRE for Excel uh, beta version. And right now you're looking at version 0 0.5 and then 0 0.1, which are some minor edits that have been made to 0 0.5, but not new features. Inside that, you're gonna find really three folders. Uh, the first folder are Microsoft Excel objects, nothing specific to that, uh, with the exception of just some language to load the custom ribbon. A custom ribbon you'll find at the top in your ribbon once you install the plugin, the add in successfully. It's called 4 CRE. Uh, you'll also find three forms, and these are related to specific features for the plugin. And then finally, you'll find modules, things like CRE content, where we're going to create modules very specific for CRE professionals. The first module is a uh, date header, auto-generated date header for your models. Uh, we've got our geocoding uh, module. Now, this was part of our standalone Excel add-in, uh, the auto-populate latitude and longitude add-in. That add-in is still available on our website, but it is also included in this uh, Excel for CRE add-in. So you can, uh, once you get, you, you uh, connect it with Google, and again, in the instructions that I'll post down in the comments below or in this blog post, uh, you'll find instructions for using this feature within the add-in. Uh, we also then have code related to the ribbon, the custom ribbon. You can see that code. We've got settings where we've added in this version the ability to quickly uninstall the add-in and then some shortcut, shortcuts specific to real estate financial modeling professionals very commonly used in the industry. So that's the code. Feel free to go in, play around with it, edit it to whatever, uh, whatever extent you need. Just keep in mind that we'll be edit, we'll be updating the plugin from time to time in the coming weeks, months, and years. And so any changes to code that you make uh, won't be reflected if you install the new version of the add-in. Now to see the features of the add-in, once it's installed, come up to the 4CRE ribbon. And here you're gonna see four sections of the ribbon. And if you go back to the code, they're called groups, group one, two, three, four. Over time, we'll add more groups or we'll add more modules within each group. The first group relates to that geocoding feature. And if you're unfamiliar with the geocoding feature, it, has a, it adds a few things. The first is once you enter an API key, and again, there are instructions, to, uh, if you click this blue link, view Google instructions for obtaining an API key, you add the API key here, you set that API key, and once you've set the API key, what you can do is just simply put an address in, and then you just do a find, say, coordinates. And it won't work right now because the add-in, we don't have the API set, 
but you do find coordinates and out it would spit the coordinates or find latitude and it would output the latitude or find longitude, output the longitude. Or if you had say coordinates, you could do find address and it will find the address for given coordinates. So that's the geocoding feature. Now the status button allows you to enable or disable the geocoding feature. And why that's important is once you get an API key from Google, that API key has a certain number of uses uh, that you can use, that you can do each day that is free. Above a certain number of uses, Google will start charging you to use the API. And now there's also the feature which is clear formula. What that does is let's say you have a hundred find longitude and a hundred find latitude um, functions that you've written. Each one of those is going to pull 100 latitudes, 100 longitudes, that's 200 poles. You can use the clear formula once you've polled, it will replace the function with simply a hard-coded value for latitude and longitude, and therefore, you won't be polling from the API new uses. Again, it's about saving the number of API polls. That's the geocoding feature. The second is CRE shortcuts. Again, there's a series of shortcuts. I believe we're at 19. And these are just shortcuts that people have recommended to us that we include in the plugin. Shortcuts that in real estate financial modeling, many of you may be using. Things like, now let's say that you have a number and you wanna turn it blue, you hit Control Shift B and it will turn that blue. You can click this shortcuts button and it will tell you the keystroke, the action that that keystroke performs and the type of action it is. So those are shortcuts. We have a create date header feature. So imagine we have analysis start, 1-1-2025, turn that blue with no background, and then we go create date header. It's gonna choose the cell, we'll choose that cell there. What's the type? Let's say years. How long? 10 years. And where do we want this date header to start? Let's start it there. And it's gonna auto-generate the date header. Let's expand those columns, you see it. And then finally, we have this uninstall feature. You click that. It will uninstall the plugin or the add-in. Uh, the ribbon will stay until you close Excel, you open it back up and the, the add-in is uninstalled. So anyway, those are the features included in the Excel for CRE add-in. It's free, it will always be free. You can access the code, service to the real estate industry. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, as we add new features, I'll create videos that follow up that share what those new features are. Otherwise, happy modeling.